Alright, Shalom Makim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai being the Heavenly Father's Son. And I want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel today, who rule well. And salutations to the Akim out there. Pushing his truth and sincerity. Alright. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get into this video. And I'm, not, I'm just going to show you how the wiki works. And it's going to come from Hillary Clinton's mouth. I mean, I know that she doesn't. She's not in office. But uh, Donald Trump seems to have the same mindset. There's a rising voice on the presidential campaign trail here in the United States right now. It's not necessarily Donald Trump or any of the other declared Democratic or Republican candidates. It's a movement, a movement called Black Lives Matter. They're raising their voices. Their politics uh, obviously coming forward during several campaign events, from taking the stage at a Bernie Sanders event to shouting out during a Jeb Bush event. And last week, members had a face-to-face -face meeting with Hillary Clinton after an event in New Hampshire. They wanted an answer from Hillary Clinton about crime legislation passed during the Bill Clinton administration and her support for it. Black Lives Matter shot video of the meeting. Good Magazine obtained that video. I want you to listen to some of the backsta backstage exchange with Hillary Clinton. What in your heart has changed that's going to change the direction of this country? Like, what in you, like, not your platform, not, not what you're supposed to say. Like, how do you actually feel that's different than you did before? Like, what were the mistakes? And how can those mistakes that you made be lessons for all of America? There has to be a reckoning. I agree with that. Uh, but I also think there has to be some uh, positive vision and plan that you can move people toward. I mean, once you say, you know, this country has still not recovered from its original sin, mm -hmm. which is true. Once you say that, then the next question by people who are on the sidelines, which is the vast majority of Americans, the next question is, well, so what do you want me to do about it? What am I supposed to do about it? That's what I'm trying to uh, put together in a way that I can explain it and I can sell it. Um, because in politics, it's lucky it kind of froze. Just bear with me for a second. Uh, put together in a way that I can explain it and I can sell it. Um, because in politics, you can't explain it and you can't sell it, it stays on the shelf. All I'm saying is, your analysis is totally fair. It's historically fair, it's psychologically fair, it's economically fair. But you're going to have to come together as a movement and say, here's what we want done about it. Because you can get lip service from as many white people as you can pack into Yankee Stadium and a million more like it. We're going to say, oh, we can... Give me a second real quick. So like you. And pack into Yankee Stadium and a million more like it. We're going to say, oh, we get it, we get it. We're going to be nicer. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's not enough. There's, there's not much. Well, it's going to keep on freezing, but you know, we just have to deal with the audio. That we can do to stop the violence against us. Well, if, if that is a conversation that okay, I push back. Okay, I understand. I understand what you're saying. Also respectfully. Yeah. Well, respectfully. respectfully, if that is your position, then I will talk only to white people about how we are going to deal That's with the very I mean. real That's problems. That's not what I mean. That's not what I mean. No. But like what I'm saying is you, you, what you just said was a form of victim blaming. Right? You were saying that what the black... All right, now, I want you to listen closely to what Hillary Clinton is about. Is about to say about the laws and how she um how they change hearts by by changing the laws listen black lives matter movement needs yeah. to do to change white hearts is no i don't have a, I, look i don't believe you change hearts i 
believe you change laws, you change allocation of resources, you change the way systems operate. You're not going to change every heart. You're not. But at the end of the day, we can do a whole lot to change some hearts and change some systems and create more opportunities for people who deserve to have them to live up to their own God-given potential, to live safely without fear of violence in their own communities, to have a decent school, to have a decent house, to have a decent future. So we can do it one of many ways. You know, you can keep the movement going, which you have started, and through it, you may actually change some hearts. But if that's all that happens, we'll be back here in 10 years having the same conversation. All right. Now, you, you've heard it from her mouth yourself. She said she doesn't believe in changing hearts. She believes in changing laws. Okay? And this is how they create mischief. This is exactly what Donald Trump is doing. You know? Well, this is what they have been doing. Esau has been doing for the longest. And... Because these laws are mainly passed to cause Jake to fall, you know? And I'm going to start at verse 13. Take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life. It's talking about wisdom. Enter not into the path of the wicked, okay, you know, meaning, you know, like the police, man, because, you know, police, they work for Esau, all right, that's one of the reasons why Elder Apostle Tahar said, don't go out there when everybody else is, is rioting, we're not supposed to be out there, all right, and go, all right, con continuing on, and go not in the way of the evil men. Avoid it. Pass not by it. Turn from it. And pass away. For they sleep not. Except they have done mischief. And their sleep is taken away. Unless they cause some to fall. Alright. And that's exactly what they do. By passing laws. Right? I mean, they do it a bunch of other ways. But the one of the main ways is, like, on a large scale, is by passing laws. You know? There was one point in time where, where um, the prison percentages um, went from 99% so-called white men to 99% colored men. You know what I mean? So, and it's still like that until this day. And it's, and it's crazy because at that time, they passed a number, a large number of laws and it caused Jake to to fill up the prisons. I'm not sure what year was this. Um, but uh, I'll see if I can find an article and I'll post it in the description or, or YouTube link. Um, but yeah. And uh, this is the Brother Bashar. And with that, I want to say Shalom.